Hi folks, Marty here. Um, today we're going to be continuing on with our Christmas card series. And this is one of the requests that was made um, that we could do some robins. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off with a, a circle. Just as a, a rough guide for me. Okay. And then I'm just going to Pull out the wee beak from here and then pop in the wee eye there and then we run the tail out from here. I'm just trying to make these as cute as I can and as fluffy as I can get them. Okay, so I need to think about where I want the the red and the robin. I think maybe around about here. Okay. Maybe you can give my wee bit of a an angle on that beak there to make it look like it could be smiling. Okay, and then maybe I'll drop the shadow on about here. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to put a bit of liquid latex in where the eye is. But, you know, if you don't have MS, you could use a white crayon pencil or something like that. But this is just a, so as I can slap the paint on and not have to worry about it. And don't forget to clean that brush as fast as you can. When you're using liquid latex, always remember to dip it the brush in water first, because that'll help you with the cleanup, or else you'll end up getting a lot of that latex stuck in the in the bristles there, and it's hard to get out later. Unless you use some kind of medium. So what I'm going to do is just dry that off to speed the process up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our red colour to begin with. Um, but before we do that, what we want to do is I'm going to stick a bit of um, a roll of tape underneath my board. I don't want I don't want too much of an angle on this. Okay, that should do it. And then what I'll do is um, I'll get some clean water. And then I'll just put a little where I'm going to drop the paint into. So it's going to be quite a, a loose kind of... So I, want to bis, I want this to be a nice little fluffy robin. Okay, so I'll get into my paint. So a nice strong red. And then I'm just going to just dab it here and there. I'm staying within the line, but uh, because of wet outside the line, it should continue to bleed on out and make it look nice and fluffy. Take a wee bit up here as well. So don't be afraid to go quite um, quite strong with that mixer. You want that to not uh, fade into nothing. You can put a wee bit of yellow into it there just to strengthen up the mix a bit. So see the way it's nice and soft out here? That's just the way I want it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is get a good dark colour for the other part of the bird. So I'm just going into one of my browns and then maybe a bit of neutral tint 
and maybe a bit of um, ultramarine there. So it's the ultramarine's quite quite strong. But I want this to be more along the brown side of things. So I'm just putting a wee bit more of the burnt sienna into it. And then I'm grabbing the other brush again, which we use to put the water down. And then I'm just adding a wee bit of water up here. So just go outside the line, just a wee bit. So just to explain that again, so we're going outside of the line, but we're going to be painting inside and letting the water work its magic. Okay, so here we are, we're going into our strong colour now. And we're just going to drop that in here and there. We need to go a wee bit stronger with that. Just take it right underneath here. And then maybe put a wee bit of darker paint here and there just to break up that blocky color. And a wee bit underneath the eye here. And then maybe a wee bit of darker stuff where that leg's going to come out. It's got a wee bit dry on me over here. So I'm just going to put a wee bit of water there if I can. And then you can clean up any wee bits with a, a damp brush with no paint on it. If you need to use your tissue, do that as well. Okay, I think we'll work with that for now. Um, and while that's still kind of damp, I'm going to try and mix up a real dark colour here for the tail. And I want the tail to be quite, quite hard. I'm just going to drag that in there like that. And then what I'm going to do is switch to a th thinner brush and I'm going to drag the little feet out.
Okay, I think I will dry that off now. Um, but before I do, I'll actually go ahead and just put the wee beak in there. Just with a damp brush I'll just soften that up there like that so it'll blend a wee bit better okay and then what I'll do now I'll take this tape out and just take the masking fluid off Okay, and what we'll do now is we'll just pop into the, the little eye here. Okay, and then I'll dry that again. What I'm going to do is extend the tail a little bit. And what I might do is, is actually soften up this part here just to make it look a bit more fluffy use a wee tissue just to help break out up a bit. dry that off okay so at this stage um, I'm just going to put in a wee bit of shadow and it's my usual color for shadow which is cobalt blue a wee bit of alizarin and then a wee bit of yellow ochre just to tone it down a bit okay so what I need to do here is there's two ways you can do this. You can put the shadow down first and then you can bring the legs down into it. It's not going to rub up the shadow color. Um, or else if you do it this way, legs first and then drop the shadow color in. You've got to be very quick with a hairdryer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the, the back end of the shadow. And then I'm going to take a quick swipe across like this. And then just to add a wee bit of detail, what I'm going to do is, uh, with a clean brush and taking the excess water off, I'm just going to do paint a wee bit of clean water onto that and then give it a wee dot like that. Let it soak in a wee second and then see if I can lift it out. Be too much. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is get my smallest brush and a wee bit of go wash. And what I'm going to do is give him a wee highlight on his eye. There you go. 
maybe a wee bit of a highlight on that beak there. Okay, so in this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some paint uh, using my white gouache and I'm going to put a wee bit of snow texture since Christmas and all. Alright, so just a wee bit. And then I'm going to use a, a big round brush. Uh, a 10 or a 12 would do the job. And then I'm just going to spray that. Okay, so here we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wee bit of colour into that for up top here because uh, white against white you'd never see it but if I added just a wee hint of colour into it it should work right right. Okay, that's grand. I think I will leave it at that. The only thing that's left for me to do is just to dry that and then sign it. So here we go. Just pop the signature on. And now all that's left to do is to take the tape off. Okay, so there you go. There's my my take on a little robin that'll make a great Christmas card. Um, what you could do is just any bits of uh, pencil mark that you're not too happy with, you can just go around and just tidy it up. And you could pop your greeting on the top or I'll stick us on the, another card. But have a wee go at that and um, until I see you again, keep painting and take it easy.